campaign that turned many against Balenciaga. Many people online felt that the ad was a direct reference to the child offerings being done for Bob. Especially after Balenciaga That's displayed crazy, the right? name Bob on its tape roll in one of the child ad photos. When looking at the imagery in the Balenciaga photo shoot, you can see that they're pointing to something sinister. You got, you got stuffed animals. I don't know if you guys can even rewind it, but in the back corner was a picture of like a demon type shit, bro. The Celtics were also known to dabble in ritual sacrifices as well every year during Samhain. Samhain took place during October, around the same time we celebrate Halloween. And Halloween actually came from Samhain. The pagans were known to make ritual offerings to the god of the underworld named Samhain, providing the deity with all types of offerings for the blessing of a good harvest. Ritual sacrifices were a part of pagan traditions and are considered blasphemous in the eyes of God. A never have to wait again for your phone to charge with this device. There's a 90% chance your phone is already infected with this. There's a new groundbreaking discovery that's reversing planned obsolescence. And smartphone companies are trying their hardest to make it illegal in the US. Rather than spending $1,200 to $1,800 on a brand new smartphone every year, this device is the best and most cost-effective way to turn your slow smartphone into a lightning-fast handheld supercomputer that will last a lifetime. The gadget uses extremely advanced AI technology that overrides your smartphone's operating system, making any slow loading times completely disappear from your phone. The charger is equipped with a revolutionary QC 3.0 technology, which is four times faster than traditional chargers. Charging a depleted battery from 1% to 100% in just 11 minutes, making one full charge unlock the true potential of the battery, allowing it to last up to 56 hours. This device distributes power-hungry apps like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. to a more energy-efficient flow, tripling your device's performance and extending the battery life. What's interesting about this product is that it was developed by my team and I. I was actually present at the biggest smartphone company in the world when this planned obsolescence scandal was happening, though I had no clue this was going on. So if you've noticed your phone acting up after a software update, it's not your imagination. Planned obsolescence are pre-built downgrades that are actually disguised as software updates. The updates activate once a year, right before the newest models are set to release. They're essentially destroying your phone in hopes of you buying the new one coming out. A few other colleagues of mine agreed that this whole planned obsolescence thing was wrong, and they agreed to join me in trying to fight back against it. And I'm happy to say, we did it. We were able to figure out how to completely remove planned obsolescence from any smartphone using something we call smart defrag technology. We utilize this new technology in a charging device that is super easy to use. All you need to do is plug in this device, connect it to your smartphone, and let it do all the work. This device was recently featured on ABC, CBS, Fox, and more. We've already sold over 3 million units worldwide and are generating an incredible amount of positive reviews. Our team really want all the smartphone companies and the planned obsolescence scandal to suffer. So we're offering 50% off on the remaining units in their work. Cultists build their entire beliefs and rituals off the practices done by the pagans. The Freemasons stole many of their rituals directly from these pagan civilizations. It has become obvious the biggest celebrities are paying a sinister price for their fame. It is not a coincidence that celebrities tend to lose close loved ones right before they grow up. We must remember that sacrifices were historically done for blessings and a good fortune. These celebrities lose a loved one and then receive a whole lot of good fortune. Their rise is always tied to the fall of a loved one. A few months back, the world saw Kanye exposing the industry, and even though it was done for a selfish reason, he revealed some valuable information. Kanye basically confirmed the speculations regarding celebrity sacrifices when he admitted that his own mother was a sacrifice. Control. You get what I'm saying? They control Shaq. They can control Charles Barkley. They can control LeBron James. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. Mm -hmm. But they can control me. You mm -hmm. see, it ain't no name I won't name. It's up. I don't care who you are. I ain't taking no spice from nobody, right? I ain't taking no spice from nobody. It's God. That's the only person that I serve. My mom ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Oh, you understand? The funniest part about it is to me, like, someone could actually come out and say something so direct, so blunt, so honest, and so open. Someone from the industry, someone who has experience and seen what goes on behind closed doors. And yet and still, 
the general public, people who watch, maybe even people who watch these type of videos will still deny it, will still be like, nah, his mom wasn't really sacrificed, this is what he actually means. Bro, he's saying what he actually means. My mother was sacrificed. He's saying it, bro. It's like people choose to look the other way after having the truth in their hand, bro. It's like, I don't understand. Uh, Michael Jordan, what about him? His daddy, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. You know, in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to troll, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. As you heard for yourself, Kanye admitted that his mother was a ritual offering for his fame and success. He states with her in his voice that his mama was a sacrifice. What Kanye is implying to is that he was made to ritually offer his mother as an offering to the pagan gods. Kanye also mentions other celebrities who were also chosen to make sacrifices for their place in the Hollywood cult. In today's episode, we will be going through each sacrifice Kanye mentioned, and we're going to see exactly what happened after these celebrities made those offerings, starting with Kanye West himself. Back in 2007, Kanye West lost his mother after a plastic surgery gone wrong. As devastating as this is, things like this do happen, as it is a risk that every person takes when wanting to get plastic surgery. The thing is, his mother was getting a routine surgery that the surgeon has successfully done many times before. That's On top of this, Kanye revealed during an interview that he felt guilty over the passing of his mother, claiming that she was his biggest sacrifice for his music career. Many people speculated since then that That's Kanye's right, mother bro. was ritually offered, but it remained speculation until Kanye admitted this himself. Back in 2007, Kanye had released what's considered his greatest album to this day, Graduation, just two months before the passing of his mother. Interestingly enough, Kanye named this album Graduation as if he had graduated from something. They named Kanye's album Graduation as he was going to pay the price to graduate in the Masonic Order. Kanye's Graduation album certified his place as a legend in the industry. His career only got bigger from that moment on. Kanye admitted his mother was his offering what he paid to have the world. Kanye mentioned that Michael Jordan also ritually offered his father for his pain. Back in 1993, Michael Jordan was on top of the world after winning his third consecutive NBA championship ring with his team, the Bulls. Sadly, Jordan wouldn't get to celebrate for long, as just one month later his father would pass. According to authority, Michael's father was a target of a robbery gone wrong. Final expense life insurance? It's something I had never really thought about before. Do I need it? All of us leave final expenses to be paid for when we pass away. Funeral costs. Michael's father was driving down the road when for some reason, he stopped on the side of the road and was ambushed by two guys. The two guys apparently took him out and then took his car for a joyride. Jordan's father was later then found in a swamp. After the passing of his father, Michael would retire from the NBA for about a year and a half, making his return and going on to win three more consecutive championships, solidifying his legend status in the NBA. It is not a coincidence that Michael would lose his father in the process of becoming the legend he became. In this situation, I found some very interesting and telling numerology. Michael went on to win a total of six rings, but the significance behind those six rings is very telling. Jordan went on to win three consecutive championships before his father's passing, and then another three after his father's passing, which means he went on to win a three championship winning spree, or a three-peat, two separate times. This symbolizes two threes, or 23. I know most of you know, Jordan also wore the number 23 on his jersey, but what you guys might not know is that Jordan's father actually passed on July 23rd. The number 23 is symbolic of the number 6 in the occult, and Jordan just so happened to win 6 total rings, playing for a team named the Bulls. The Bulls logo just so happens to resemble Mola, the pagan god we spoke- Yo, is that a coincidence, yeah? Let me know in the comment section. Do y'all think that this is a coincidence, bro? That's kinda crazy. About earlier that the pagans used to sacrifice to. Like I always say, when there's too many coincidences lining up, you low-key gotta take it for the truth, bro. That, cause that right there was just, that was crazy. Not a coincidence in my opinion that Jordan's father would end up passing. The numerology is undeniable and honestly speaks for itself. Jordan, just like Kanye, was chosen for this, given the opportunity to have it all at a price he couldn't refuse oh, nice. and most likely didn't want to pay. The next celebrity we're going to be talking about is Dr. Dre. Back in 2008, the world was shocked to find out that the son of legendary hip-hop producer Dr. Dre had passed mysteriously 
and was found by his mother. The police reported that the passing was an accident and it happened due to substance related issues. This came as a surprise to the world that wasn't aware of Dre's son even having any issues with substances. Dr. Dre's son just seen the past like a lot of people in Hollywood, mysteriously. Honestly, if it weren't for Kanye mentioning it, I would have not even looked into this one. It's what crazy, I found man. out that was interesting is, I saw that Dr. Dre was actually having legal trouble with his label in 2000. I find it funny how all these artists and celebrities died from random substance abuse, a random overdose. <laughs> That's like the easiest thing that could be covered up, bro. 2007, where he was in a battle for the rights of his music with his former label, Death Row. Dr. Dre even stated the industry was trying to dry him out and get rid of him. But they, were, they weren't paying, you know what I'm saying? I think they were trying to starve me, starve me out. As hard as you work for your money, at least two or three people out there working just as hard to get it from. And in 2008, his son passed away. But by 2009, Dr. Dre's legal problems were all solved. What I also found interesting is that Dre's son, just like Michael Jordan's father, passed on the 23rd of August. The number 23 once again comes up, which reminded me of the whole 23 Enigma theory. The 23 Enigma theory states that the number 23, for some reason, is the answer to everything. Some people believe the number 23 holds the secret to life and may be a symbol of some larger hidden significance. I came across the 23 theory back when I did the Jim Carrey video, as he was a part of a movie called The Number 23. The movie The Number 23 is about a man who reads about his future that foreshadows his wife's passing. I think the 23 Enigma theory is interesting, and if you guys would like me to do a full video breakdown on it, let me know below. In my opinion, I believe it could be a possibility Dre's son was a ritual offering, as his son passing was mysterious. Also, Dre over the years has risen to the level of gatekeeper, and I believe he was allowed to make it to that level after he made his ritual offering. I made a full video on Dr. Dre, and now he's a puppet on the devil's strings, pushing the agenda. The last person Kanye mentioned was Bill Cosby. Strangely, the passing of Bill's son was similar to the one of Michael Jordan's Bill father. Cosby's In January guy, of 1997, Cosby's son was out and about when he stopped on the side of a road to fix a flat tire. This is when he was approached by a man who was trying to take his belongings. The man then pulled out a piece and let go in Cosby's son's direction, which ended up causing his passing. Similar to Jordan's father, Cosby's son just so happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. The thing is, a lot of people aren't buying this and think something far more sinister happened. Online, many people believe that Cosby's son was actually taken out as a sacrifice because Cosby was trying to buy NBC and NBC wasn't having it. Back in the 90s, Cosby attempted to buy NBC and NBC wasn't too fond of this. Those online think Cosby's son being taken out was a way to silence him and prevent them from buying the company. I'm not quite sure on this theory, but I do believe something mysterious did happen to Cosby's son. See, after researching into Cosby, what I found was very interesting. See, Cosby was a member of the college fraternity, Omega Psi Phi, a fraternity in Howard University that had federal members like the TV personality Steve Harvey and the comedian and radio host Ricky Smiley. It also had the basketball players Vince Carter, Shaquille O'Neal, and most importantly, Michael Jordan. The fraternity had big names that all went on to be big politicians, entertainers, and athletes. What most people don't know is that the Omega Sci-Fi fraternity was created by three men, with Frank Coleman being the leader of the three. Frank Coleman was a member of the Prince Hall Freemasons and created the organization as a Masonic fraternity. It is not a coincidence that those that run Hollywood were all Masonic puppets since college. Cosby and Michael Jordan were both members of the same fraternity, both Masonic members, and they both went on to lose loved ones in similar ways. People, this is not a coincidence. This is the price they paid for their famous success. Something else I found interesting while researching Cosby was his role in the Disney movie called The Devil and Max Delvin, where Cosby plays the devil himself. In the we literally just watched a video yesterday of how these cartoons and movies literally target the younger generation. That's a Walt Disney movie, bro. Walt Disney movie that has the devil and the devil. But look, I'm in this video right here, okay? If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. I'm gonna catch y'all next one, man. Peace.